Hey everyone, Matt Morris here. I wanted to shoot a quick video to go through an exercise with you that I went through years ago and it has led to an amazing amount of success. And you know, obviously success means something different for all of us, but what it really boils down to, you know, whether you want to make more money, you want to have more time freedom, you want to travel around the world, you want significance, you want things, uh, you want to give back, whatever that is, it leads to self-fulfillment. And I'm going to kind of give you my definition of self-fulfillment. I believe self-fulfillment comes from keeping your values in front of you and aligning your life to be congruent with those values. And so I'm going to talk today, um, kind of piggybacking on the blog post that I put yesterday about having a core set of values and how most major companies, you look at Google and Zappos and Whole Foods Market and all these you know, giant companies, Southwest Airlines and on and on and on, they all have a core set of values that as a company they try to live by. But if you look at most individuals, if I were to ask you what are your you know, personal core values, you probably couldn't give me an answer. And again, if you want self-fulfillment in your life, if we, you know, if you can agree with me that self-fulfillment comes from having your values in front of you and aligning your actions to be congruent with those values, then it's important, obviously, to have a list of personal values that you live by. And so by having, here's what I think is true, by having a set of personal values, core values that you live by, that's going to give you self-fulfillment. And what it is, it gives you a standard to live by. It's a constant reminder of how to be, of how to live, and makes your decision process easier. It gives you happiness. And, you know, it's uh, the ways of living that are going to lead to self-fulfillment. It's the ways of living that are going to lead to who you want to be and the results that you want to have. And so your values define who you are. And here's something that I think is amazingly powerful is you define yourself. And if you don't define yourself, society is going to dis define you. Your parents are going to define you. Your friends are going to define you. Your bosses are going to define you. Your whoever is going to define you. So it's powerful that you define yourself because here's the reality. You are who you say you are until you prove otherwise. And so I'm going to go through and kind of share with you the process that I went through. And this has been an evolving process over the years. But here's how and why I came up with the set of core values that that I personally work to live towards and live by on a daily basis. And so I just uh, wrote mine out here. And this is when I wrap mine out, I put I always and then I list the values. And I've kind of, um, you know, have ventured off. I mean, this was not the core training that they gave me. Listen, there's no rules. You do this the way that you think is going to be the most powerful. But come up with a set of, you know, 10 or 12 values that if you live by those values on a daily basis, that's going to turn you into the person that you really want to become. And so the values, here's a key distinction there, is the values don't have to necessarily be the values you're living by right now. It's the values that you want to live by. And by having them in front of you at all times and aligning yourself to those values, again, creates fulfillment. And so number one on my list, I am grateful to God. So grateful being the core value there. And so, you know, for me, that's almost everything. You know, if we look at the situation that you're in, there's a lot of people who are in much worse situations. You know, when bad things or negative things, challenges happen in your life, you can certainly always look to someone else who's having a much uh, worse situation or having much greater challenges. And so I think it's important to always have gratitude and give thanks where thanks is due. So next thing is I always have fun. See, it doesn't matter what's happening in my life. I'm committed. My core value is that I'm always having fun. See, when challenges come them up, bring them on. Because it's, for me, whatever it is, I'm going to say, you know, maybe there's a big challenge there, but there's a greater meaning behind it. It's going to make me into a stronger person. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Regardless, I'm going to have fun. So I'm always looking for ways to have more fun in my life. And what does that lead to? A more fun life. And guess what? By focusing on fun, does that lead to more self-fulfillment? Self, uh, does that lead to more happiness? The answer is obviously yes. Next thing, I am authentic and honest. I always am authentic and honest. And so here's the thing about me is I'm easily excitable. I can, uh, sometimes when I'm talking about my product and so forth, it's easy for me to get, we'll just say hypey. And so something that I've had to kind of learn, and this is, you know, one that I continually always have to focus on is being authentic. 
you know, not overhyping anything and really just being honest about what it is, honest about the situations, being transparent with my life. And there used to be situations where I would try and make myself out to be more important than I really was. I wouldn't talk about maybe the challenges that I was having in my life. Or I just wasn't, it wasn't that I was lying. This wasn't that I was being transparent. And here's what happened when I started being transparent. I started sharing some stories about myself that I'll share with you guys. Um, on you know future videos, what happened was all of a sudden people started becoming more attracted to me. I started ha making more money. I started you know becoming a stronger leader because of that authenticity and honesty. And so that very important. Next one, smile. I always smile as much as possible. And so smile is not really a value, but I'm not big on following the rules, right? And so. You put in there what you think is going to add more fulfillment and happiness to you. And so here's what happens with me. When I smile a lot, I feel happy. See, a lot of people uh, have it in the reverse order. They think, well, when I'm happy, I'm going to smile. But what happens is there's, the happiness comes from physiology. So when you smile, you actually feel happier. See, try it right now. Smile. Put a big smile on your face. Do you feel happier just by smiling? It's tough to feel depressed when you're smiling all the time. And so if you want to feel more happy, smile a lot. And so for me, that's important. Another thing that uh, seems to happen is when you smile at other people, they smile back. They, people like you more when you smile. And so for me, it's also a reminder. When I'm on the phone, if I'm doing a teleconference with a big group of people, I'm going to focus on smiling while I'm on the phone. People can actually um, see the smile through the phone. Uh, that's going to make you more successful. When you're speaking from stage, something that people say about me all the time is, man, you gave an hour and a half talk or you, uh, you trained for eight hours in a day and you smiled the whole time. Um, and, and so again, that makes, uh, makes you more entertaining, makes you more fun, makes you feel better. So smile as much as possible. That's what, a big one for me. Next one, I always look for adventure. And see, I, you know, my tagline I talk about all the time is make life an adventure. And I think, you know, we've got a limited time on this earth and why not make it an amazing adventure? Most people's lives are pretty damn boring at the end of their lives. And so I want to make sure that at the end of my life, my life isn't pretty damn boring. I want it to be pretty damn exciting. And so I want to always make life an adventure. And here's the thing. I'm always looking for exciting adventures to go on. I'm always talking to my kids. If when we're going to the grocery store, I'm saying, hey, sweetie, you want to go on an adventure? Uh, because that's a lot more fun than saying, hey, do you want to go to the grocery store? And they get excited about an adventure. So here's the other thing. When the shit hits the fan, then most people go into depression. You know, they get sad, they get worried. Me, when things, all hell is breaking loose, I'm excited because that's an adventure for me. And one of the values that I aspire towards all the time is adventure. And so I'm always going to look for the adventure in whatever happens. And that leads to a heck of a lot of self-fulfillment and a lot of happiness. So the next thing here, I always am energetic. So that's the juice of life, man. It's, um, you know, being energetic, being excited, that's going to propel you forward and allow you to produce more. It's going to allow you to, you know, go out and work out more and just, you know, be successful in everything that you do by being energetic. So, uh, next one, I always wow others with my love and generosity. So I just believe if you want to have love, if you want to have happiness, give happiness out. If you want love, give love out. If you want to, um, you know, have amazing things happen in your life, be amazingly generous. Give back. See, life is not about what you get, it's about what you give. And here's the thing about becoming a millionaire, becoming hugely successful. If that's, you know, if you're on my website, maybe that's a reason why you're here, is you want to be a millionaire, you want to be successful. Here's the way to do it. Be amazingly generous. Give a lot of value. Why am I doing this val this video right now? Why, am why do I provide value on my website? Why am I being generous with my time and knowledge and all that? It's because by giving out, that's going to create more self-fulfillment. I know I'll be a lot more successful if I'm generous with my knowledge. So, next thing, I always pursue Kaizen. So, Kaizen is the Japanese art of constant and never-ending improvement. So, always learning, always being a student. And so, that is a core, fundamental value for me. In fact, I spend one hour, at least one hour, five days a week, learning. I'm either reading a book... 
I'm buying an information product, I'm going through a video, I'm listening to audio, but at least an hour a day, I'm pursuing Kaizen, constant and never ending improvement. And so what happens is, you know, if I want to, uh, you know, become a great, here's how I became a great public speaker. Number one, I did it a whole lot. I was energetic enough to get on stage and just to keep doing it. I had the persistence. And listen, I sucked the first time. The second time, the third time, the fourth time, I sucked. I kept getting better and better and better, but I worked on my craft. I read books on public speaking. I spent $10,000 for a one-day coaching program on public speaking. I spent many more thousands of dollars on going to public speaking events. And so... Uh, training events. And so pursuing Kaizen, it's going to get you where you want to be. And my philosophy, quote, I love one of my favorites. If you empty your wallet into your mind, your mind will fill up your wallet. So next thing is I always feel confident and self-assured. See, being a great public speaker is not about the words that you say. It's about being confident. If you're confident in selling something, you can sell it. My, uh, my mentor, when I was in my early 20s, he used to get up on stage and people would hang on every word that he would say. And it was like he could sell like no one I'd ever seen in my life. And I just, I didn't have that level of confidence. And he, uh, he, he said to me, he said, Matt, you wanna know why I can speak effectively? You wanna know why people buy when I'm selling things? It's because I'm confident they're gonna buy. I'm confident I'm gonna do well on stage. And I looked at him and I said, well, yeah, of course, you're an amazing speaker, you're an amazing salesman, of course, I'd be confident too. And he said, no, 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 you don't get it. The reason why I'm good is because I'm confident. So you've gotta be confident first if you ever want to have the results that come from being confident. And so be self-assured, being confident, that's an important one for me. I always compliment others a lot. I'm very complimentary. And this is a muscle that I'm gonna encourage you to work on. Work on complimenting other people a lot. See, great book, Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. What he talks about in the book is how other people like you when you like them. And when you give someone a sincere compliment, obviously not being cheesy or anything like that, give a sincere compliment, and all of a sudden, try this out, <laughs> start complimenting people, all of a sudden they like you. All of a sudden they're interested in you. It's an amazing, amazing thing. The favorite word of every person in the world is their own name. You know, try saying people's names, giving them a sincere compliment. You wanna learn how to meet people when you're out and about? Give them a sincere compliment. All of a sudden they like you. They wanna know all about you when you simply go out and be complimentary to them. And so, you know, finally, last point I want to leave you. This is something I encourage you to write down is try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. Say it again. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. Albert Einstein said that. And here's the reason why. When you become a man or a woman of value, if you live by a core set of values that makes you strong, that makes you powerful, that makes you someone that is empowering to others, that other people aspire to be like, that's gonna lead to success. And see, here's the whole thing that I'm so excited about, is the, the whole art of being successful in life, um, it's not about the things, it's not about the money, it's not about the success, it's about the person that you have to become in order to have the success. So follow those values, become the person of success, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and uh, hearing your, your uh, comments on the blog. So uh, comment below, love to hear if this has added some value from you. And listen, none of this matters unless you actually do it yourself. So uh, you can uh, reference uh, the blog post earlier that has a big long list of values. Look through those lists, pick about 10 or 12, eight, nine, 10, 12, that you know would, you would be so much more powerful if you live by those. So thanks for listening.